there's data that is coming from South Africa and from some modeling groups that are looking at the transmission. We do see an increasing growth rate. We see increasing numbers of Omicron being detected. And right now, um, the data is, I think, maybe a couple of hours old, but we have reports of Omicron in 38 countries in all six WHO regions. And we do see increasing trends in Omicron in South Africa. So there is a suggestion that there is increased transmissibility. What we need to understand is if it's more or less transmissible compared to Delta. The Delta variant is still dominant worldwide. That's important to keep in mind. Well, let's uh, carry this uh, discussion on and find out a bit more about Omicron with Paul Hunter, an epidemiologist and professor in medicine at the University of East Anglia. Paul, great to have you on the programme again. Uh, so we heard there in the last uh, couple of clips that it was too early perhaps to say if it was more transmissible than Delta, for example. I know it's early days and we don't know too much about this new strain. Yeah. It does appear to be highly transmissible. I suppose the question is, is it deadly? Yeah, I mean, that is the big question. I think there's uh, accumulating evidence that this uh, variant can spread more readily, particularly amongst, I think, vaccinated or populations or populations who have had a lot of infection uh, already. But at the moment, we don't know how much more severe or indeed how much less severe illness is with this variant. And, and there have been suggestions that it is uh, causing less illness, but uh, or less severe illness, but really it's too early to say because often people who get infected, it's often a week or 10 days even before they get particularly severely ill. So I think the next couple of weeks are going to be absolutely crucial to know about how severe illness is going to be. Yeah, we, we understand that levels of Delta were fairly low in South Africa when Omicron took hold. Uh, the new variant, therefore, didn't didn't have to work very hard to compete. So would that be different in somewhere like, like the UK, where there is plenty of Delta circulating around? Uh, certainly, possibly. I think the, the issue could be more around um, how severe people get if they do get infected, how severely ill people get if they get infected. And I think there is a, a reasonable expectation that Whilst immunity to infection doesn't necessarily stay strong when you're looking at different variants, immunity to severe disease is more robust. And if we, if we see that, we could see case numbers increasing, but not necessarily the numbers of people who are severely ill. But, but I mean, that's, that's certainly a possibility, but really at the moment, there's just not enough information to know whether that's uh, likely to happen or is just a forlorn hope. And I wonder, is there any hope uh, given by one of the earlier variants that we saw, uh, Beta, which I, I know didn't really take off anywhere. Omicron certainly seems like it's going to spread. Uh, yes. But is this just another indication that every variant is slightly different and it's a very uh, complex uh, virus? Absolutely. I mean, I think the issue with Beta, which, which actually was the dominant variant in South Africa for quite some time, is that when it was starting to spread globally, it was coming up against the alpha variant, which was possibly even more infectious than the, the, the beta variant. So, uh, and then once Delta got to South Africa, it absolutely wiped the floor with uh, beta and beta just disappeared within a very short few weeks in South Africa. It, it is too early to say whether Omicron is going to do that with Delta. I think there are some signs that it may do that. And it, even in South Africa, in Gauteng, in the, in the area around Johannesburg and Pretoria, it does seem to be increasing much more rapidly than Delta uh, at the moment and and be largely why, uh, the reason why case numbers are going up in South Africa. So there are troubling signs about the infectiousness, but again, too early to say about uh, about severity of disease, which is essentially what we're um, primarily interested in, really. Yeah, we'll come back and discuss it again, no doubt. Paul, thank you very much indeed for joining us.